as tensions around a controversial high-speed rail line mount further. A fundraising page for an injunction to stop HS2 work in Buckinghamshire has achieved £12,000 in 48 hours. Demonstrators say preparation work at Jones Hill Wood should be halted because wildlife surveys at the site aren't comprehensive enough. HS2 has told the BBC they're in talks with Natural England and protesters are illegally trespassing and abusing their staff. David Lum reports. After months of waiting, tensions are getting heated at this HS2 camp near Aylesbury. One of the security personnel walked up to one of my friends pushed him away and said keep you two metres after breaking cover regulation himself. Um, that went on for most of the night. Trees coming down, security has been stepped up. One family forced to lend their land temporarily for the project says they didn't know their trees would be cut down. First we heard was at 4am we were woken up by the sound of chainsaws uh, and we came down to investigate and there were four or five chainsaws, about 30 security, massive floodlights. Uh, and this was a Saturday night, um, just before it started snowing, so it was very cold, and we were horrified uh, because they hadn't been clear what they were going to be cutting. Demonstrators are doing everything they can to thwart the work. An online fundraiser for an injunction to stop the project at Jones Hillwood achieved £12,000 in just 48 hours. We hope that um, HS2 will be held to account. Um, not just for Jones Hill Wood, but for all these woodlands along the, the line, for them to conduct proper surveys to at least minimal professional standards, but also to realise that we don't have to destroy woodlands to construct a railway line. There are other options. In a statement, HS2 Limited said, We take our environmental responsibilities seriously. We do not remove trees without having the appropriate licences in place, and extensive environmental surveys are carried out ahead of any removal works to ensure appropriate mitigations are in place to protect local wildlife. Vegetation works are being carried out at Small Dean Lane to allow security fencing to be installed. This is to protect our staff from the violent behaviour of some protesters who've assaulted and repeatedly abused those working on site. The camp has changed radically since it was started in January last year. Electricity to power phones, carpet and insulation to stay warm. With HS2 ramping up their security and now being surrounded by them, um, there's over 50 of them on the road last night um, down at Small Dean. It is intimidating, um, uh, but all it does is drive you on to, like, it's in your face what's going on, the destruction is happening on your doorstep every day. Uh, it just gives you more of a drive to keep going, doing what we're doing. Despite the passage of time, the passion to protect this ancient woodland remains strong. David Lum, BBC South Today.